we're going to the Super Bowl and we're playing the Bengals and and like how does it get any better than that? It would be hard for life to get better for Melissa and Andrew Whitworth and their four children, especially this week as Andrew prepares to play in his second Super Bowl for a team he loves against a team he also loves in the Bengals. You still root for the Bengals? Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's actually a really funny video of Melissa when they make the kick at the end of the game against Kansas City of her and the kids like yes. running through the suite, just going absolutely crazy before our game started, cheering them on. <laughs> That's the Whitworth family at SoFi Stadium watching the Bengals win the AFC Championship. I asked them, did they ever imagine it would be a Rams-Bengals Super Bowl? When the playoffs started, I was like, there's no way it ends up being us and them. But when it got, when it got down to the championship games, of course I was rooting for this matchup. One, because we're rooting for Joe Burrow every day except for the day we play him. I mean, he's 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 so rad. He's so good. And then and then too, we love the fan base. We love the people of Cincinnati. For it to also be a team that you poured your heart and soul into for 11 years, and that you feel a big part of still, and and I root on root for all the time, and watch all their games, and you know, it's just it's an unreal feeling. I've I've yet to really find the words for the feeling, but it's it's amazing. The Whitworths love Joe Burrow. Both he and Andrew are former LSU Tigers, and when Burrow rehabbed in LA last summer, the Whitworths befriended him. And even though they want to beat the Bengals Super Bowl Sunday, they admit their hearts will always be in Cincinnati. Cincinnati was a place that we had played out for so long and we're so ingrained in the community and, and a part of that community that we really didn't see ourselves as football players. We saw ourselves as people who were a part of a, a city and, and we loved them. Andrew is now 40 at the end of his career. When I asked about if Sunday will be his last game, he would not quite commit. But the significance that both teams he loves will face off Sunday in the biggest game on earth is not lost on him. I mean, I look at it like there's two franchises that didn't win many games before I got there. And now that here they are both in Super Bowls and um, what a better way to walk off and say, job's done.